IELTS or PTE? Are you confused about which one is better, which one is easier? So in today's video, I'm going to do like a quick comparison between both these tests and also give you my personal opinion about which one I prefer. So today we will compare these tests on basis of few different parameters. So without wasting much time, let's get started. If you're new, please don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Okay, so let's see who runs these tests. So PTE is run by Pearson's PLC, which, which is a British multinational publishing and education company headquartered in London. And IELTS is jointly owned by British Council, IDP, IELTS Australia and Cambridge Assessment uh, English. The winner between this, it, it's, a, it's a draw because both of them are run by reputed institutions. So let's see where these tests are accepted, IELTS and PTE. IELTS is accepted for both study and migration purposes in countries like UK, Canada, Australia, etc. and many other countries. PTE Academic is accepted by thousands of universities, including universities like the prestigious ones like the Harvard, uh, INSEAD and also Yale. So the winner for this one is going to be IELTS because IELTS has been in existence for a very long time and most of the countries and institutions do accept it. So make sure whenever you're applying for a university or a country for your migration purposes, make sure to check what uh, they accept because some uh, in some places they do not accept um, PTE. For example, in my case, when I had to do apply for my skill assessment in Australia for getting my permanent residency, for skill assessment, they did not accept uh, PTE, so I had to write an IELTS test. I don't know what it is now, but probably I can check and let you know. So next parameter is the format. So PTE is a completely computer-based test, whereas IELTS is a traditional paper-based test. Uh, my personal preference is always going for PTE because I do not have a very good handwriting and I prefer doing things on the computer. Low typing speed and you're somebody who prefers to write, then IELTS probably is a better option for you. But if you are very well versed in computers, which I think mostly everybody is these days, uh, so PTE is just a better option for them. So the winner for this one is going to be PTE in my case, but it, then it again, you know, comes down to individual preferences. All right, so now let's talk about the test structure. So IELTS is divided into speaking, writing, reading, and listening. So the total duration of the test is about two hour, 45 minutes. And the speaking section is, speaking test is always done on maybe next day, or there's a few hour gap between the other test and the speaking test. He is also divided into speaking, writing, uh, reading, listening, and the total duration of this test is three hours. The winner for this one is again going to be PTE. I'm just very inclined to PTE for some reason. But anyways, um, although the general structure of the exam is similar, PTE wins here because the entire test is done and dusted within three hours. Whereas for IELTS, you might have to, you know, come back on another day and do your speaking test, which is a bit of inconvenience in my opinion on to the next parameter which is the timeline of receiving your results so uh, for IELTS you receive your results after 14 days whereas for PTE you get your results just in three days so again the winner clear winner is PTE again um, for somebody who is wanting like quick results and you're waiting on your waiting to submit your English you know proficiency test documents and uh, so yeah in those cases PTE is always better in terms of validity, both the tests are valid for two to three years. So it's it's a draw, no winner. Next parameter is the pricing for the test. So the prices may change uh, from country to country, but on an average, it's the it's pretty much same everywhere, which is three hundred and thirty dollars, which equals to something like twelve thousand Indian rupees. Okay, so now the cancellation fees. So if somebody has booked an IELTS or a PTA test and they want to cancel it for some reason, we'll talk about how much the cancellation fees is. IELTS allows cancellation or request of transfer of dates five weeks prior to your scheduled test date. A partial refund, which is like 25% of the amount that you have paid. And if it has to be for a valid reason. So you might have to submit a medical document or, or, or a doctor's report or something like that to prove why you cannot you know, attend your IELTS exam. If not, if you do not have a valid reason, you do not get anything back. Whereas uh, on the other hand, for PTE, you do get a partial refund 
and you can cancel your exam seven days before your scheduled test uh, and you might not have to give any reasoning as well the winner for this one is again going to be PTE because PTE Academy does give you an option to uh, you know change reschedule your dates to different dates with a less cancellation fees compared to IELTS Question is which test is more easier and I think this is the parameter we've all been waiting for in my opinion IELTS writing section is more difficult than PTE because the standards of IELTS in the writing section is really really high on the other hand most people find the reading section of PTE to be a little slightly difficult than IELTS most people who face issues in the reading section for both exams generally struggle because they do not have regular reading habit the speaking section is a mixed bag the IELTS includes a real person that you're talking to versus PTE where you are speaking to a computer well, some people are more comfortable speaking on a microphone than being in front of a person and delivering a speech I personally prefer doing it just on a microphone with PTE, however, because it's an automated scoring system, if you understand how the system works, even an average speaker can get really high grades. The listening section is equal both in PTE and IELTS in terms of difficulty. The winner here is PTE. While both the tests are challenging, I think just considering the fact that the writing section is a bit difficult in IELTS, I think PTE is a bit lenient when it comes to the writing section. So yeah, PTE it is. So the next parameter is the availability of preparation material. So for IELTS, there is a lot of preparation material available online, but there is no mock test. Whereas on the other hand, PTE also has a lot of online resources available. And on top of it, you also have a lot of free mock tests. And I think it's a good idea to get, you know, just a gist of how the exam is going to be. So there are a lot of free tests available even on um, PTE's website and I can give a link in the description box below just for your convenience. So the winner here is PTE because PTE does offer you a lot of mock tests with scoring at the end which gives you some kind of comfort before you appear for the main exam. So these are some of the parameters in which we have done the comparison. For me, a personal choice is always PTE but it may differ person to person depending on your individual preferences. So whatever test you choose, just keep in mind that having a good foundation of English does really help you to get your scores high. That's all for today's video. I hope this video will help you in making an informed decision about which test you want to choose. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more such videos. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.